that Spider-Man? Why does he look so different? What did he do to himself? Oh, no, there he is. Well, who's that guy? All right, we are headed over to Harry Potter World and Islands of Adventure. Going to cross over from Universal Studios and use King's Cross train station. Only 10 minute wait. Let's go. They have all that luggage over there. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the little owl. And some more luggage. It's backing into this depot. There it comes. I have to say, I like riding that direction better than the other way. So, King's Cross to Hogsmeade or Universal Studios to Islands of Adventure, I like that direction rather than the other way around because the story that you're watching in that train is a little bit more eventful. You've got the Dementors coming and trying to attack the train. It's just more interesting, that storyline. But the other one is worth riding the other direction back. All right, let's head this way. Oh, that's neat. And we are on our way to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. All right, now we're entering Hogsmeade. They've got the train over there. Isn't this awesome? We're gonna check out some of these stores. I was here, I think last week, I did a vlog about it, but I don't think I did a great job at looking at all the little stores. And I wanna head back into some of these, like Honeydukes over here. There's Zonko's, let's go in. Oh, that's an exit only. Looks like a little joke shop. Oh yeah, they're doing the wand spells you can do. If you have yourself a wand, you can do spells in different areas. I don't know. Everybody's wagging their wands around. Go in here. Honey do, honey duke, honey duke melon, honey do. Oh, chocolate skeletons. Those are neat. Giant jelly skulls. Oh, they've got some of these jelly beans. Birdie bots. This is ceramic. Or no, it's tin. It's made of metal. Huh. $25 for the collectible metal jelly bean tin. It's kind of cool. What are you? $11 for Felix Felicis liquid sweets. What is this? Love potion number nine. That's what that is. It's just love potion. How much? Oh, 10 bucks. Uh, I should really get some chocolate frogs or at least one. These things mock me every time I see them. It's just like such, uh, it's just classic Harry Potter, you know? Apparently you could get a free wand if you spend $300 and some other things. Oh my gosh, candy floss. Oh, that looks cool. Cotton candy, taffy. They have more of these ceramic chocolate frog items. You can get a whole tea set, or at least a teacup and a spoon. I like the spoon. It has a little frog on there. That's neat. I guess this is the box right here. So it's a chocolate frog three piece tea set for $35. Honestly, that seems like a pretty good deal to me for a teacup, a spoon, and a saucer. They even have like this other area with fudge in it. Caramel, caramel with nuts, fudge, cupcake, pumpkin cake, cauldron cake, chocolate skeleton, pumpkin pasty. Pasty, that's what it says, it says pasty. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be pasty if you eat all that stuff though, I tell you that. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Look at all the fudge. And there's apples too. So there's the train that we rode, but that way it takes you to the other park over there where it says Hogsmeade to London King's Cross. There's the Hogwarts Express. That one's a good one. I would highly recommend. It's 80 minute wait currently for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. That's a tongue twister, my gosh, Hagrid. What is this now? Oh, look at all of this. That is so amazing. The owl post here. Is it like a post office? They have all of these little cages here and packages. What do you do inside of here? Oh, it's a little shop. It's a little shop. You see there's wands over there and packages up on the ceiling there. And there's chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the owls up there. That's really cool. They're animatronic too. Even more wands up there. All the nice props. So cool. I was like, oh my gosh, they need to repair their ceiling, but it's, <laughs> it's made to look like that. Cool. I thought it was mold up there for, <laughs> for real. But it's fake mold. A lot of people are buying their wands here. Gosh, it makes me want to get a wand, but I don't know. I've got the Triwizard Cup. Look at these goblets. 25 bucks. Honestly, that does not seem bad at all. Oh, it's like plastic. I thought it was metal. For some reason, I thought this was metal. I don't know why it would be metal, though. That would be like really expensive. What is this? Golden Snitch. Oh, it's a Quidditch game. That's neat. You could have a whole Quidditch game for $43. And a golden switch, snitch, switch, golden snitch for uh, 20 bucks. It's plastic. It's pretty lightweight too. And they also have the pendants here. Brooms with the fiber optics. That's cool. 35 bucks for the brooms. And they have also, they also have all of these gowns here. All the robes, $140. You can get them in any class that you like. These are kind of heavy. The cloth, those are really heavy for wearing out in Florida. They're like double paneled. You have fabric on the inside and on the out. Wow. I wonder if they make like a lightweight version of that. That seems really heavy. Oh, wow. And they have the embroidered pockets. Nice. Oh, up there. Look at the ceilings. That's cool. All right, so we're gonna continue looking around out here. Across the way is Dogweed and Death Cap. Death Cap. Glad Rags Wizard Wear. I don't think that's a real store. I think that's just a facade. And people are spell casting over there with their wands. Madame Puddy Bots. Puddy Bot? Puddy, Pudding Bot? Some of these names, I swear, they are difficult to say. Amazing, that castle. Oh, and you've got the ride over there sometimes they put the shows on on this stage i wonder if they'll have any shows here today at the stage they actually have a show tonight at the castle here i'm not sure if we'll get to see it in this video but they will be closing it down i believe on may 9th for refurbishments so it's just basically a light show that's projected on the castle with music and everything sort of like how disney does it another one of my favorite movie trilogies jurassic park we're gonna head on inside here Jurassic Park Discovery Center. I want to check this out. Look at the center here. That is awesome. It's just like the movie. That's so cool. There's like a gift shop downstairs. We'll head that way. That's so cute. Mr. DNA shirt. Oh, and they have a backpack too. Bingo! Dino DNA. Huh. That's awesome. There's this one here. I like that shirt. That's so cool. Mr. DNA mugs, $17 for the ceramic mug, blue interior. What is that, like a walkthrough thing? Looks like a walkthrough museum of animals over there. Oh wow. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. What is this? A Stegosaurus? Did you like my humming song? Did you like my humming concert? I need more water. I really like these mugs, but I wish they said Jurassic Park to be more old school, you know? They're, they're dimensional, and I like that about them. They seem really good quality. $19, that seems pretty good as well, and they're large. I, I like those. I wonder if they make these with the old Jurassic Park logo in 3D embossed. That's a good quality mug. They have these other shirts here with that logo. Lower level of that big shop led out to this ride. The Velasa Coaster, which I rode in the last vlog here, and it's just a fantastic ride. Oh, look, you can see the Harry Potter area from here. 
Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's such a good one. I highly recommend. But you should probably not eat before it. Probably not. So cute. Look at this. They've got these little plushes whenever you walk in. I'm in the upstairs gift shop of the same building now. $17 for this one. You got Mr. Hammond. This one's also $17. You've got that guy. Oh, he's Jurassic World. Where's Jurassic Park stuff? I want a Jurassic Park mug. Let's check out the Jurassic Outfitters store here. I wonder if they have a mug for me. Let's see. There's tumblers, little toys, shirts. Yeah, I want Jurassic Park, not Jurassic World. Well, there's this thing, Biosyn. That's kind of boring. This is what I want right here. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, that's, I was gonna say, is that a mug? It's huge. It is a mug. That thing is honestly <laughs> twice, <laughs> twice as large, twice as large as large as it needs to be. Oh my gosh! Do they make a smaller version of this? Oh, they got so many. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look how dimensional that is. That is everything. I definitely want that. It's twenty-one dollars. That that's 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 worth it to me. Jurassic Park. Do -do -do. Universal Studios. I like that a lot. All right, I'm super happy with my mug. With the discount, it was like around $21, I think. You know, there's tax and everything. It would have been like 23, maybe $23. So I saved like 10%. I'm walking back and I'm going through the tune area. They have this motor oil and it has water that sprays out at you randomly. I'm not sure what it takes to get the water to come out but they have this like little store over here selling gasoline in the tune area. Are these old license plates? For sure, for real? Oh wow, they are. You could actually buy old used license plates. That's kind of interesting. Oh, they're spraying water, it's spraying oil out. All right, walking back through here, they've got Blondies. That's an interesting place. Comic Strip Cafe is up there. I'm kind of going against traffic, I think. I'm in the way. We've got Pippi Longstocking and Betty Boop over there. What are they doing? They're having a grand old time. Oh, ice cream. Kathy? Is that Kathy's ice cream? Oh, Kathy. Kathy made cups and cones and floats. Now we made it to the Marvel area. They got an ice cream place there, a diner, comic shop over there, which really isn't comics. It's probably just, yeah, it's a gift store. Oh, that's where the Spider-Man ride lets out, actually. I saw some of this the last time I was here. Didn't really focus too much on all the little things you can get. Gabriel. They have these clutch bags, $55 each, it looks like. Yeah, $55 each on those. Oh, lounge fly. Yeah, Marvel lounge fly. $79. It's pretty cool. And they have these other plush animals. Animal. For $40, this one. Spider Man. $17. Is that Spider Man? Why does he look so different? What did he do to himself? Oh, no, there he is. Well, who's that guy? Maybe I, I think I am not really that aware of what's going on in the Marvel universe right now. I don't know. Those are some cool backpacks. I think they call those day packs because they're like smaller. So we do have comic books here, some of them. And then there's, is that Legos? Oh, there's Lego too. Lego, and they got tumblers and mugs. Some interesting ones. Some more plush there. Yeah, pretty cool store. We'll go out here. Now this direction is towards the park entrance because you have the amazing adventure of Spider-Man ride. There's a, oh, Auntie Anne pretzel shop. Oh, that's cool. You know, I say this, I'm manifesting it into the world, but they need to make a chocolate dipping sauce. Think about it, chocolate covered pretzels, but soft. Hello, duh. Dr. Doom's Fear Fall. I did not ride this one last time, but it's only a 10 minute walk on pretty much. 
It's one of those types that really just makes you want to hurl, honestly. But I want to do it. Let's do it. Oh my. Feels good in here, though. I'm gonna go right here. That was so fun. You're like, you, we, I shot right up. Right, we are exiting this ride. I think it was worth it. That was fun. It was very short, though. It looks like it lets out into an arcade. King Kong of Skull Island game there. Oh, the quarter pushing game. Willy Wonka. I always wanted a Wonka bar. Wonka bar. Do they sell them here? Is that, I didn't know that that was a universal property. Willy Wonka. There's so many movies that honestly I have no clue who made them. Confisco Grill. Oh yeah, that's where we enter in over there if you come in just to this park. We are now headed over to Poseidon's Fury, which is actually right over here because they are going to be closing on or around May 9th. What's interesting is this is one of the first attractions to be here at this park when it opened in 1999. What's interesting is they actually refurbished this not too long ago, so it's a little unfortunate that they're now going to be closing it down. Maybe they can reuse certain elements, I don't know, but, oh, that looks so cool. This is a walking tour. I like the waterfall features. And I just got out of that walkthrough attraction and I could not film in there, unfortunately. It was a lot of dark areas and it would have ruined some of the special effects in there. Well, and now I can say that I've done it. I think it was pretty cool, although some of the special effects were a little bit dated, but it was, it was pretty neat. You basically walked through these different chambers and things happened and they had like a backstory. And the ending, the last chamber that you entered was pretty cool. It, the, the whole room tran transformed, basically, to this larger room where there was a water show and fire and all kinds of things. But yeah, now I can say that I've done it, Poseidon's Fury, and we'll head on to the next adventure here at Universal Studios Island of Adventure. This store says All Hallows Eve Boutique. See you in the fog. Uh, this is for the Universal Horror Nights. They have the different merch already. Creature from the Black Lagoon. This shirt is $30. They've got a cinch bag over here, a couple different ones for Mardi Gras. Although that's over now, but they're on sale 70% off. Oh, look at this one, $35. A little jester. It's pretty neat. It's like all Halloween looking in here. See you in the fog scented candle for $26. I've got a magnet here. Here's mugs. The mugs are 16 for that one. I don't know. I don't really know much about what this slogan refers to because it's kind of new to me, but it looks neat. I managed to find my way back into downtown Hogsmeade and they've got butterbeer over there. I don't know if I've ever had that before, but it doesn't sound terribly appealing. But I'm gonna have some of this Florine Forchescu's for ice cream parlor. I can't imagine trying to even hold that thing, let alone eat it. It like spirals up top there. I used to work at an ice cream place and we had ice cream that looked like that with the colors going through it. They called it Flavor Burst. I wonder if they have that here too. I think I'm just going to get a sundae. And you stand there and then you wave your wand, I guess. And then a little show happens. Swish and flick. I have the flavor burst stuff because there's all the tubes going into it right there. They get a sundae. They've got them in those cups there. They have waffle cones also. I'm not gonna do a waffle cone. I'd like. Oh, let's see. The sundae comes with a souvenir glass for two dollars or ten dollars fifty. And they have butterbeer ice cream. You know, maybe that's the best thing to do. Since I don't know if I'd like butterbeer, I could have the ice cream version. Served in a souvenir glass for $8.49. Hmm, maybe I'll do that. You'll have to find out and wait. Um, can I get a cup of butterbeer? A cup of butterbeer, anything else for you? No, that's it. All right, keep moving forward. All right, thanks. So I'm doing butterbeer. We've had a little bit, but this is the butterbeer. It's a soft serve, not hard pack. That is really good. 
I highly recommend this. It's really, really, I like the creamy. It's, oh, that's really A plus. Mine says delay and there's all these like prison guards standing there. I'm not sure what the deal is on that one here at Green Huh. Well, I'm gonna eat this and then head on into Ollivander's after that. Oh, I'm inside of Ollivander's now. Oh, wow. Oh my, look at that. It's always clear to those of us who study one toward it, one chase the way. Uh, like a little mini show where they had someone come up and select which wand was going to be theirs. Now we're, it opened up into the wand store here, Ollivander's, and we can take a look around. There's lots of wands here. Maybe one day I'll get a wand, I don't know though. This is so cool. Up on the ceiling there. Oh, here's a whole bunch of them right here on the wall. Neat. They're so cool. And a new thing you can have done now is they can be engraved with your name on them. That's a new uh, new feature that they just started doing here at Ollivander's. Head on inside here. Oh, that's the exit only. We'll have Mel's drive-in. Looks like I'm gonna do a burger and fries, probably. It's been so long since I've had something like that. Look at this, what they got, the jukebox over there, the old booths with the little music radios there, the chrome, the square tiles, it's just so 1950s in here, it's pretty awesome. Looks like it's going to rain out there any minute, it's pretty gray. It's getting really windy, it's getting, yeah, it's getting really windy too. I'm happy I'm inside. Here's the full menu. They have barbecue brisket, bacon cheeseburger, chicken fingers, chicken sandwich, Beyond Burger. They also have apple pie a la mode and a shake. I'm just doing the cheeseburger for now. I, I doubt that I'm hungry for any sort of ice cream though. Get a ketchup or two or three. I have a little bit of water left. I should have filled it up, but I wasn't thinking clearly. I have to say, it's kind of not very good. I, it's just kind of dry and basic. It's not a very good quality uh, burger either, really. And the fries are a little bit hard and, what's the word? Like, not very good. You know when potatoes get old? That sort of weird potato feel. Kind of gritty and, yeah. Not so happy with that. All right, I switched tables and I also got an apple pie a la mode. It looks pretty good apple pie this was about five dollars which isn't too bad I don't guess this has like a sugary top on it it's nice and crispy on the top as well and there's an apple filling that looks really good it's tiny little cubed up that's steaming wow really good I do recommend it if you make it over here nice apple pie the ice cream is all right I mean it's not exciting or anything but it's cold and that's what you want because the hot and the cold is just so good together. And it is downpouring. You can see it's just downpouring. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it is wet and wild out there.